Hi, in our previous videos, many of you will have seen me using our Standox VOC Performance Pro Clear. Today, I want to focus on the process of fading this clear out and also of defect removal and polishing. Now, as you can see, the majority of preparation on this car is already done. With regards to the rail itself, I now have a couple of options. I can completely sand it and put clear over the whole thing if I want, but of course that doesn't really show you much. Traditionally, what I would have done is lightly sand this area and make my fade out into the sanded surface just to give me a little bit more security when polishing the blend at the end of the repair. The process related to this clear though is slightly different. And what I want to do is clean it, polish it, clean it again to remove the residue, lightly sand it before a final clean and placing the car in the spray booth. Okay, so as you can see, I've actually got quite a defined edge there where I've stopped the sanding. What I need to do is just soften or graduate that into the polished area slightly just to get a very smooth transition. Now, that's my base coat done and I'm ready for clear. But before I start to do that, let me just take a moment just to explain the clear coat fade out process in a little more detail. As you know, this is a two coat clear. And so my plan on this job is to apply the coat and then come up into this fine sanded area that I've done with a P3000 and I've marked it with a blue arrow. I'll flash it off. I'll peel my paper back, which I've put there just to reduce the overspray a little bit and help me later before extending the clear on the second coat to the area which has been finer sanded using the red arrow. Finally, I take my fade out thinner and I make my fade out on the polished zone. As you can see, I've worked, as I said, towards the blue arrow using a reduced pressure just to keep the overspray to a bare minimum. With regard to the fade out thinner, you have a choice. You can take it from a regular can or we have it available in spray cans. I prefer to use a mini jet, but you can use it through the normal gun if you prefer. Either way, reduce your fluid flow, reduce your inlet pressure and keep overspray to a minimum. And remember, it's important that you do not mix the clear and the fade out thinner together. Before I demask the car and throw it out, I just wanted to show you this. And I'm not sure that the camera is really going to be able to pick it up because to be honest with you, it's that good that there is very little to see. But if anything, there is just a small hint of something here that I will need to polish. Remember, when you're drying this, the important thing is either give it just a little bit longer in the baking cycle or alternatively, you can give it a short burst of infrared before allowing it to cool and then polish. Now the job's cooled down, I'm ready for the final polishing. And as I said in the spray booth, there's actually very little that needs doing. But remember, if you have a little bit of structure or a little bit of dirt or dust here, you can finely sand this with something like P3000 Trizac and then polish, and you won't run the risk of breaking through the edge. Remember when you're polishing to go with the rotational direction of the machine. So again, you reduce the risk of breaking through. Now I said in the introduction of this film that I was going to show you a little bit about defect removal and polishing of this clear as well as the, uh, the fade out. So here's a little defect that I need to deal with. I'm just going to cut that off very quickly. That's got that. 
Okay, good, that's the defect gone and that's now ready for polishing. That's the defect gone and the polishing is complete. Just remember that this is a fast clear coat and is designed for quick processing and so it's better if you can polish it sooner rather than later. Don't leave it too long. Stay with me until the end of the video where I will give you some polishing system recommendations from different manufacturers. Finally, I just wanted to take the opportunity to remind you that using this fade out thinner and this process also works very well with our Standox VOC Extreme Clear. Thanks for taking the time to watch. See you again.